Hi guys, today we are at Magreis and it's really cool because we're going to look at all the roller coasters, how it's made, how they're designing it, how it's manufactured. It's going to be awesome and I can't wait. And yeah, let's just go in. <laughs> let's go. Up, 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 up. Three front cars or three um, complete trains that we are setting up right now, they are already packed and will be shipped up in about two months from now. Um, they all are assembled on the wooden plates and then they, we can put them in the containers, in the shipping containers and just uh, bring them to the site. Actually that are the, the most uh, last parts that we, that we ship on site because yeah, you don't need a roller coaster car if you don't have a track or something. <laughs> so this is the, um, our production for track and for all the vehicle cars. So here we are milling out the bogies, we are milling out the track um, components that we use um, for the columns and for the track interior. And this is all done by our PMC machine over here. So he's taking out now a finished product and put in back the raw material and then the machine can run again. And besides that, we are also working on the column attachments. So the track has to go onto the column and therefore we have to also manufacture those parts that will sit on top of the column to make it more, to make it safe. <laughs> so all of the bogies that we are using for the cars are manufactured here in this machine. The machine has the nice ability to load um, three to four raw material pieces and then it will just rotate by itself and can work for about 12 hours without anybody interrupting the work. So here also the, the bogies that are already welded, they are tested already but they have to be sandblasted again and then they get a spray paint coating so to make them look nice and shiny. Mm -hmm. okay. So here we are in our um, main storage area. The storage area consists out of the input that we get from, from our sub suppliers. Mm -hmm. We store them in the big shell for the bigger parts and then take all the single pieces that we need for the project and put them on those uh, transport carts where we can transport them to our final assembly. We have a lot of rides all over the world, and therefore, this is our part where we have all the spare parts that the parts are um, demanding and uh, the spare parts they need. Um, right now, several going into around the world. Um, there's hardly any part without the mud rides and attractions. Um, this part is always packed and full of um, pieces that we need to ship. We have a piece of track sitting here for the um, Arthur attractions. Actually, this was one of the few times we had a test track here. Normally, we build our prototypes, ship them to the client, and usually they work. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, this was an exception we made um, because Arthur or the inverted power coast is so a uh, highly technical ride vehicle that we needed something to work on here on site. And these are actually the steel themes that we use to manufacture our track. So this mm. is uh, not a special steel, that's a um, pretty common steel material that we use here.
all um, ready finished track that we are going to ship to our painter and they will sandblast the rails and then bring on um, the different layers of paint so um, yeah it looks not new but it's brand new track right now. these are new parts so those are being shipped in a few days and this this is the old track from Eurostat so you can see it's like very used it's so cool it's like just over here so we, we have all the different um, small scale models of rides that we um, have done for the client in order to get the permission and of course in order to get the approval of the designs so here you find um, for instance um, the cars for space fantasy for universal up there it's the for emin the boat ride in the in jungala i think is um, the place the different cushions for our lap bars that we have invented and of course we have to remodel them each and every time so this is all done by a little, some sort of foam that we can adjust and yeah mold it and lego so like, <laughs> yeah lego is actually the client that is sending us the lego pieces in order to yeah um, show us how they want to have their ride really <laughs> that's built. amazing so that's quite funny and of course we have uh, different accessories just like the ropes up there where we can present the client um, what type of uh, ropes we are using and what the accessories will look like on the ride but that looks like fun <laughs> we are bringing in the children sit them down and if they would like to we can turn them upside down it's really kind of fun for them. can we do that now <laughs> <laughs> At the very end of the train, the Eurozat Hong Kong poster will get a little French flag. On top oh, of the that's seat, nice! So. Yeah, sometimes we have some uh, pieces that we are using for testing or for just um, yeah figuring out if they can work and how they would work. Just like here with the um, seat model of our extreme spinning coaster for Silver Dollar City. So this was the mock-up that the client uh, got to see hmm. in order to show him all the details technical-wise and of course of the decoration as well. So now we are in the, in the another storage uh, unit, not in Waldkirch but somewhere else. And here are all the Cancun coaster trains. So they're not ready yet, it's really cool, I, I can touch it. <laughs> and they're like... Um, the boxes for the music, the lap art restraints are sitting here, just chilling over here. Um, the technique for the cars are in the first one. You can see it right here. Pretty cool. <laughs> and for the VR experience, for locating the train, that's here in the third, second and third um, coaches. It looks pretty cool. I can't wait for the, for the ride to open. And uh, the new seats for Eurozap, the, these are the same shape like the Pegasus one but with a special divider in the middle for smaller kids so they can't move from one seat to another when the lap bar is closed. So the lap bar in a minimum position would end here and therefore they couldn't change from one seat to another. Currently our sub-supplier Emus Electrics is doing also the electronic work so all the sensors, all the music that is uh, going to be in the car yeah. they are installing everything right now in the front car. This is all the techniques that is needed for all the audiovisuals and of course for all the sensors. And in order for the train to get power, we have this. The power line is running here, and he, uh, the train gets its power by by these brackets oh, yeah. here. And the front car is actually the only car that has two sets of bogies and two sets of wheels. The other yeah. one are just like a rickshaw, um, set on top of these, and has always a wheel on the back of the car. <laughs> So everything gets together. These are the feet. And this is mainly the final stage. So 
What's missing here are just some details. Um, here are plastic part. Our lapper system is um, still not in place, but all the decor and all the other stuff is already in place. And even the wheels are assembled. Yes. So they lay out everything. So they can just take one piece, put it back together and then install it to the train. And with this assembly hall we reached the end of the tour. It was like really cool. I learned so much about how roller coasters are made and I knew some things already but it opened my eyes. Like it's really cool. It's like so much work, like precision work to build a roller coaster. Like it's not easy. <laughs> but when it's done, the, the, the result is amazing. So I hope you liked the video, I did. If you did, let me know with a like and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.